All right, gents, today I'm answering the question, which shoe is more formal, the Balmoral Oxford or the Hole Cut? So I've been asked this question a few times and I think it's a great question because it is a bit confusing. When you look at the rules, you look at the write-ups, you look at all the information out there, you can see that these two shoes, well, each of them have a case for being the most formal of the dress shoes. Now, this one right here, the whole cut, you can say, oh, simplicity is elegance. It's the simplest of all the dress shoes when it comes to the overall cut and design. Therefore, this is going to be the most formal. Or you look at the Balmoral Oxford and you're like, okay, with a cap toe even, this is going to be dressier than a whole cut because it has tradition on its side. So what's the answer? Well, let's first talk about what these shoes are, what they are not. So these are going to be dressier shoes. This one right here, this is going to be a more casual shoe. Not only the color, but let's look at the open lacing system. Remember the back quarter when it's thrown on top of the vamp, that is an open lacing system. Well, this shoe over here, this one is a very dressy shoe, but the medallion right here, this is going to make it a bit more casual. This shoe right over here, notice we've got the wingtip going in and around. And also notice the design. This actually doesn't have it, so the quarter is thrown on. This is going to be considered closed lacing as well, but it's really closed lacing systems that we're looking at, and that is going to be the dressiest of all the lacing systems. Now, this shoe right here, notice there's a little bit of contrast in the color of the leather. Not much, but this is still going to make it a little bit more casual for this intended comparison. I want to imagine that both of the shoes I'm looking at are the same color. Let's go black. Now, I only had the black in the Balmoral Oxford. I did not have the black in the whole cut, but assuming these are both the same, what do we know about these shoes? This one has historically been the dress shoe of choice. The black Balmoral Oxford has been the go-to dress shoe for over a hundred years. Polish these up really nice. You can wear them with black tie or you can wear them with a dark colored business suit. Now the whole cut. This has become very popular in the last decade, but what separates the whole cut from all the other dress shoes out there is that it's made from a single large piece of leather. That They've got to actually choose very high quality leather with no blemishes to be able to create a shoe like this. Whenever you create, you know, like the Balmoral Oxford here, you can actually take pieces, different pieces of leather, so you can take smaller pieces. This right here is oftentimes going to cost more to manufacture because to actually get an unblemished piece is going to be something that's harder to find. Another key characteristic of the whole cut is the simplicity of the build. Again, one large piece of leather wrapped around. Some people will argue because of this one reason, this is the dressiest of all the dress shoes. Style, simplicity, elegance, that's what you're shooting for when you're looking to get dressed and the whole cut epitomizes that. So what's my verdict? Which shoe is dressier? Guys, I'm going to have to give the win to the Balmoral Oxford. Why? It's all about tradition. When it comes down to it, over a hundred years of pedigree being worn again and again, I think maybe the whole cut 50 years may earn its place in, but for right now, I've got to give the title to the Balmoral Oxford. All right, gentlemen, now it's your turn. Agree, disagree. Let me know down in the comments and let me know what other type of shoe comparison videos you'd like to see. Maybe comparisons with other types of menswear. What other questions you have? Feel free to reach out to me over at realmenrealstyle.com. I'm going to link to my website down in the description of this video. I've got a contact form. You can always reach out to me. And guys, go explore my website. Go gr grab my free app. Go download my podcast. Look at all the different options, all the different tools I give you to become the man you know yourself to be. I want it so that you can have action steps that you can take to, to take this information and to actually apply it. I like doing these comparison videos, but what I really like to see and I love to hear is how you are actually taking positive steps to become that man, that vision of greatness that you know yourself to be. Sound good guys? Take care. I will see you in the next video.